Clarence Tomorrow Marathon was started because um, because of Clarence, who is a seven-time winner of the Boston Marathon, and he was a teacher at Keene Normal School, so which is Keene State now. It's a fundraiser for a number of different charities uh, in and around the greater Keene community, so not only a great event, but it serves a great purpose as well. This year we've got about 350 half marathoners, and I think 278, I think, was the um, fault. This is the second time that I've done this race. I'm not sure what number this is for me. This is my second half marathon. It was my first marathon? Yes, my first half marathon. So it's my first DeMar marathon, but this is or half marathon, but this is my fifth half marathon overall that I've done. The marathon worked out quite well. The weather was pretty much perfect for running a marathon, not too hot. It might have been a little on the chilly side, but once you got going, it really felt pretty good. It started out really cool. We were out at Surrey Mountain, and the fog settled in, and it started to lift. And, uh, you know, it's just the whole day. The course is beautiful, people along the way. You didn't really have to worry about the weather or the heat, so everybody was very relaxed. It was very interesting. It was hard. Very, very hard, but it was worth it. It's an awesome atmosphere, a lot of help and support. Interesting part, probably for me, that I started cramping around mile nine. So I was going for a timed, um, for a specific time. I was trying to finish in 2.30, which I didn't because I started cramping. But, you know, everyone just kept encouraging me and just kept saying, you can do it, you can do it. The finish line is right there. So just the, the support was really helpful. It was so diverse and I think that was my favorite part was the people cheering and because you you know you think you're in it by yourself but there's always people around you even runners are cheering you on and so I like that. It was a fantastic day for a race. Yep. Cool temperatures, glad they moved it earlier by an hour. And beautiful start up there. It was beautiful going through the dam uh, and uh, seeing some of the New England countryside. I've been running for uh, quite a while now, more than a decade, um, but I, I never thought I'd run a marathon, but I, I got into a running group and we were training for a while, and uh, it was something I wanted to try. Originally, it was just to kind of stay active. When I was in high school, I tore my ACL, MCL, and meniscus in my knee um, when I was a gymnast, so I couldn't really exercise for a while, and I knew I couldn't go back to gymnastics, so kind of running and doing half marathons as a way just to get back in shape. Um, but now that I've graduated from Keene, I look at it kind of as a way just to come back to Keene. It's one of my favorites. I do live in Keene, but uh, it's it's nice because not only is it beautiful, but it's mostly downhill. There's a few uphills, but most of it is you're ending lower than when you started, so that's a good one. But it's just great support. It's really well run. Everybody in the Rotary is involved in this day, in this race. I mean, we, we pretty much work all year round to put this thing on. Here on the quad, Deep Roots Massage provides uh, free massage for them. We've got Keem State providing food. We have t-shirts and this year we added water bottles because we're trying to go um, reduce our carbon footprint and the amount of plastic on the campus. It's a, ch a challenge to your body. You feel over the moon once you finish and accomplish such a, such a mileage feat. 